Good afternoon. Uh, this is a little cooking thing. Now, <laughs> I'm actually uh, cooking without knowing the English name for this vegetable. I'll look it up later. Uh, you probably recognize it yourself. Uh, I'm going to make a dish which is quite popular in Holland. I'll have some ham and cheese ready later. But first, we're going to boil these uh, lof, we call them. And uh, probably needs about 10 minutes. It says power, so we'll be okay. And I'll come back to you later as soon as the next step is going to be taken to make this delicious meal. Ciao. Okay, I got it boiling, just needs a little bit more, so it will boil, I can take the lid off because it will be more than enough boil. So we got it boiling now, got the cheese and the ham ready, also a oven plate, and of course a knife. Not the best knife, but it'll do. Let it boil just for a little bit longer, come back to you later. Right guys, there was one little thing I forgot to mention, which one of my favorite cooking spices. It's uh, Note Muscat. Not Muscat. Uh, check out on YouTube, there's a hilarious video uh, about uh, Louis de Funer uh, playing an, uh, a French comedian, playing a uh, restaurant owner repeating to a German uh, how nut muscat is made. You might want to check that out. It's really uh, it's really, really hilarious. Anyway, uh, I put it on almost all my vegetables, especially if I have a sauce with it. And uh, I'll show you why. It takes a lot of the bitterness of a lot of the tastes. And it just uh, gives a little extra. So uh, remember this one. You probably know it if you cook yourself. Come back to you later. Now uh, it's up to you or not, I normally put just a hinge of salt during the cooking. Now you just check with the fork if they're ready. So looks like well this is a bit this one is a bit tough yet. This one as well, so roll it around a little. They're gonna lose some of their leaves, but that's no problem. Put it back on, back on. So they we uh, they are a little bit undercooked uh, because I like to have for them to still have a bite because they're still going to uh, go into the oven. I'm just gonna give it a little time to, uh, to cool down and then we'll put uh, the two other ingredients on there. Okay, now let's see if I can get this on tape. I got the loaf here. Still a bit hot, not too hot, but it's okay. Then, when you do it in the microwave, uh, you first put the uh, cheese and then the ham. If you do it in the oven, I suggest doing the ham first. Just roll it over. I'm a bit of an amateur, as you can see. But hey, it worked. Ta-da! There we go. Then you take the cheese. Cheese around that. Make sure. And that's it. Now I got eight of these. They're going to go into a bowl, which I'll show you later. And then we'll continue. And there we are. I put some extra cheese, you know, at the place as you can see the ham. Put some extra cheese in there. Very nice, and it's about to go into the oven. Now, as you can see, I'm preparing the oven to 180 degrees. Uh, since it's been a very long time, I, I did this, and I did want to look uh, look it up on the internet and just uh, do it uh, as a, as a feeling. I put the uh, how does it called the, uh, the grill a little bit low, uh, so it uh, will contain the loaf with ham and cheese. I'm just wondering uh, 
what will happen so I'll put it on 180 degrees Celsius to save uh, to save heat so uh, and uh, I forgot to mention but uh, for the ham and the cheese for the ham I would uh, use what we call shoulder ham and for the cheese I would use old cheese and old cheese is being sold in a lot of uh, ways but old che cheese normally means it's about a year old so if the cheese has been uh, on a shelf for about a year then you got old cheese and that's uh, the best one and of course the best cheese is Dutch so we'll have a look when it's ready to go into the oven okay so the oven is almost heated up I uh, had some time to look it up on the uh, web uh, the English translation for this vegetable is chicory. Wow, I learned another word today. It's a chicory dish with ham and cheese in the oven. So uh, we'll continue with it later. This is turning into become a <laughs> very sloppy video. I uh, just want to say that uh, normally if I have it in the house, I don't have it, I would sprinkle some um, breadcrumbs you know, over there before it goes into the oven. But I don't have it, and I'm not really sure to do some curry or, or Mexican uh, spices, so I'll uh, keep it pure. Also, uh, in the little corners, I've put some olive oil, just to be on the safe side if it is a little bit too hot in the edges. Not much further, because it's an oven, yeah, and it's uh, already quite wet from itself, the uh, chicory is. Well, as you can see, it's in the oven. Don't know why it doesn't focus very well, but you have to believe me, it's in the oven. It's gonna stay there until five o'clock, which is in half an hour. Thank you, oven. Oh, and I'm so glad that I bought this house with all this built-in equipment. It's just, uh, I'm a guy who likes to use stuff intuitively, like phones and, and these kinds of things. and. This one has been very kind to me. Uh, I like the induction stuff. As soon as you know how it works, it's the simplest thing in the world. Very safe and very effective and uh, efficient. So I'll come to back to you later with the uh, chicory dish whenever it comes out of the oven. Look at it. It's uh, got about 10 more minutes to go. I put the heat a little bit up because it has to be a little bit crunchy. I also took a little bit of juice out. Probably because I didn't let the chicory uh, to drip out enough water, so but it's still enough juice to make a nice gravy. <laughs> so uh, that's how it looks for now. Okay, so it's been there long enough, quite a little bit longer, a little bit higher temperature, and I'm gonna take it out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't that look absolutely delicious? Absolutely nice, crunchy cheese. The ham is pretty well baconish, but soft, and the juices are just phenomenal. Simple, pure. Just experimenting here. Let's see how easy this is. So, and this is just simply delicious. Now I'll cut one open and uh, show you the last part of the video. Now this piece is open, and I'll just pour a little bit of the nut musket in there and now you can decide if you eat it separately so first the cheese and the ham in one bite with the chicory or the chicory first or afterwards but this is uh, gonna be delicious guys see you soon ciao hi guys one last thing uh, it's called nutmeg in uh, English nutmeg of nutmeg and uh, before you cook the, uh, uh, how is it called again, chicory, <laughs> uh, be sure to uh, cut off the wide edges and like a cone-shaped, uh, yeah, you, you take your knife, you stick it in and you turn it round so that you take out a piece of cone-shaped bitterness, which is the core of the uh, chicory before you cook it. The rest is uh, history. It was delicious. Oh, fuck, that's good.